Hello everybody, my name is Brian Welch and today we're going to be going over the brand new Fidelis Consultants Quoting Tool. This is a quoting tool offered to you that it kind of allows um, you to run quotes for the four different products you see on the screen in front of you. The screen that you're looking at here is the main screen that you're going to get in when you get logged into the system. And then here are the four product lines that you can run, begin to run quotes for. And we'll just briefly go over each one of these products and how to run a quote um, to give you a better idea of how the tool works and how it can help you. So to begin running a quote, all you need to do is click Run Quote uh, for any of the different product lines. But we'll go ahead and start with Medicare Supplement. And it's going to bring up the demographics page or the quote page where you actually type in the quote parameters. So we'll go ahead and type in the zip code here, uh, in here. And this will run any zip code in the country. Um, so everything from Maine down to Florida, from California to, to, to Alaska. Um, and it'll give you the county and the city and state that you're running the quote for. You can then select the age, the gender, and the tobacco status, as well as the plan you wanted to run. We default to F for all the med subs, but if you click the drop down, you can be able to select A through N. And we'll go ahead and press Get Quote. This is going to price these products out cheapest to most expensive to show you the entire market. And so you'll be able to, while you're sitting down with a client or quoting for a client, you're going to be able to provide them all the information necessary um, to, make, to make the best informed decision. So you can see here, here's all the results we have. Um, we're obviously going to give you the price per month and the company name, but we also have the household discounts and policy fees associated with this plan if it's available. And then we have some company information, like rate type, if it's an attained age and issue age policy, a and best and S&P ratings if they apply, if there's a rating class, we're going to provide that different type of company information. We also have a plain details button here, and this is just going to bring up all the benefits associated with these policies. And so you can see what Medicare pays, what this plan would pay, and then what you or the insured would pay, um, and this being a plan F, it's all zeros. Beyond that, we have a few different toolbar options. The first is the above quick quote section here. So if you wanted to switch from an age 65 to 70 or you wanted to switch from an F to a G, um, female to male, you don't have to keep clicking back and forth. You can just use this quick quote section here. And on the left hand side we have a few different toolbar options. The first two are going to be compare quotes. Let's say you wanted to compare two of these quotes or three of these quotes side by side. All you need to do is click the company names and they're actually going to turn green and they'll place them up above here. If you just click that Compare Quotes button up here in the left-hand corner, it'll bring you to a new page with just those companies on it. It takes them away from the original list, and you can print that off or hand it to somebody if you just wanted to highlight one or two carriers. We then have the Universal Compare, and this will allow you to compare cross products. So if you wanted to compare a MedSup next to a final expense, or hospital indemnity next to a Medicare Advantage, you can do so. And all you need to do to do that is click this globe icon here, and it'll come up with a little highlight that says Universal Compare. If you click that, it'll turn purple, and you would just need to switch to a different product line, run the quote, click the globe, and that, the, the other product line will then turn purple, and they will both show up here on the left-hand corner and allow you to do a compare uh, of just those two products. So those are the compare options. We also have a few export options that are pretty self-explanatory. Just the blue button here to print if you wanted to print off these quotes. We have a red button here for PDF if you just wanted to generate a PDF of these results to email or to save to your computer. And then we have the green Excel. If you wanted to dump all this into a data format, you can click in that green Excel button. We also have a few different adjust your view options. The first is going to be expanded or contracted view. So if you wanted to show a simpler view, you didn't want to confuse the client on what you had, you can show a simpler view. We have the apply the discounts, and this is if you wanted to apply the 7% discount to the rate. Annual rate, pretty self-explanatory if you wanted to see the annual rate versus the monthly. And the fourth one down is the market analytics, and this is going to have the most information. The first box is going to be age increases, so each year the insured gets older for attained age policies. We'll show you what the price will be on their birthday every year. We'll also show you their increased history. This has been this will be any time the rate uh, the company filed new rates since 2010, what the date of change was and the increase amount was or and or decrease amount. And so this is since 2010 since they modernized the plans. And the last thing here is market data. And this is just NEIC data. 
which is self-reported by the company each year, the lives insured, premiums earned, loss ratios, and market share for this plan and state on a state and national level. And so this just gives you not just based upon price, but gives you a full uh, market view of what this plan has to offer. And the last button down here is select plans. If you are in a zip code or dealing with a company that does offer a select plan, if you click that, it will put select plans in the list, and there will be a big highlight uh, bolded label here that says select underneath the rate. The last thing we have here is the underwriting data, and this is if you're dealing with somebody outside their open enrollment period and want to provide them not just the best company based upon price, but their underwriting criteria, you can bring this drop down, and this is all the conditions directly off the application. So let's say for argument's sake, you happen to be dealing with somebody that had a heart attack in the medical history. This provides the look-back period. So for Aetna Health and Life, the look-back period is one year. So if they've had a heart attack within the last year, they would have to answer yes on the application, and therefore it could probably be used against them in trying to issue them that, that uh, product. And so that's, that, that's in, a, in a, a quick review of the Medicare Supplement Tool. We'll go ahead and move on to another Medicare product, Medicare Advantage. We try to make it work and look the same way, so it will, it will look the, the very similar in running the quotes and how the results return. We always say here, if you can run one quote, you can run the products on the other, or you can run quotes on the other products. Same as before, go ahead and type in a zip code. Um, you can select a Medicare Advantage plan, or if you want to do standalone Part D, or SNP plans, the special needs plans, you can just click this drop down and change it there. And one thing I didn't mention before is the client label. If you wanted to type in, let's say, John Smith, this is a quote for Mr. John Smith, and you wanted to print this off or create a PDF and email it to somebody, um, you could personalize that quote with that person's name. So it's optional, it's not required, it's just if you want to personalize the quote. We'll go ahead and press Get Quote. It's going to price these out just like before, cheapest to most expensive. However, because most of these are zero, pre or zero per month premiums, it is going to label it by the max or rank it by the max out of pocket. So as you can see, the price per month and the max out of pocket. We're also going to give you the, the company name as well as the plan name. And then some information like drug deductibles, star rankings, if it's a local HMO or a PPO, etc. There's gap coverage. It will give you that kind of basic level information. All your compare and export features are still here, as well as your quick quote section. One thing that's going to be different with the Medicare Advantage is you want to want to see the co-payments and the co-insurances, drug tiers, things like that. That's the plan details button. So if you click the plan details, it will take you to the page where you can see all the different types of benefit information, um, what exactly is associated with these plans, and the different types of co-payments and co-insurances that come with it. And so that's what's going to be on this screen. You can also um, print, uh, you can print this, or you can take it to PDF if you wanted to share this or provide this information to somebody. Moving on to final expense. Um, this is going to, like I said, work the same way as the previous uh, products do. However, um, um, you, you're going to have the ability to select face amounts and type in amounts rather than um, selecting a plan or a benefit. So go ahead and type in a zip code here. Zip code, age, gender, and tobacco status. One thing that's going to be unique is you can select a face amount. So if you wanted to run 10000 or 20000 or 50000 you can do so here. Or you can use the monthly rate. So let's say your client can afford $30 a month. You can just type in $30. It'll then pull all the corresponding products that are available for $30 a month and their face amounts. Um, and so that's one thing that's unique with this tool. We well, can also do product types. So if you wanted to... You know, run a level benefit, you would run a level. If you wanted to run a return of premium or a single pay, graded, you can change all that product type there. Press Get Quote. Just like before, it's going to price these out cheapest to most expensive for a 65-year-old female $10,000 level benefit. Um, all your export features are still going to be here, your quick quote sections. Everything that's available on the other tools is available on this one that apply. you also see here, too, that the underwriting is also available. So if you are dealing outside a guaranteed issue product, they have to go through simplified underwriting process, you can do so. So here's all the company information. Um, quick quote sec section, like I said before, as well as all your compare and your export features. Your expanded and contracted quotes are still available. One thing that's unique with the final expense 
is the monthly, quarterly, and semi-annual rates. Rather than just seeing monthly or annual, we allow those different payment methods. And we can apply the fees. So if you wanted to apply this annual fee to the, to the rate, you can do so and it will adjust the rates automatically for you. If you are looking for a guaranteed issue products, you can see under underwriting, if it is a guaranteed issue, it will say guaranteed issue, or you can choose to filter it, only seeing guaranteed issue products if you check, make that checks and include the filter. This also includes the underwriting information. So if you are happen to deal with somebody that needs to go through a simplified underwriting process, you can do so by selecting the um, underwriting tab there. And so, um, like pretty self-explanatory. We try to make it as easy as possible. The last product here is going to be hospital indemnity. This really works well with the Medicare Advantage tool. We have a lot of agents that try to fill in the gaps where a Medicare Advantage tool may fall short. We'll fill in the gaps with a hospital indemnity plan. And so we'll go ahead and run a hospital indemnity, indemnity quote here. Um, the universal comparer, the fill in the gaps um, tool, uh, like I said, really goes well with the hospital indemnity. You can choose to run, obviously, both of them separately, um, but they really work well together. Um, what we're going to run here is just the base level plan. So this pricing is not going to include um, riders or, or other types of features you can attach to this plan. This is the lowest level base plan that you can get. Obviously, we're going to have a household discount on policy fees, your compare features, exports, um, client uh, quick quote sections are all still here. But we're going to have um, some base level information here, including the included benefits. If you wanted to increase or see the different types of benefits associated with these plans, you just need to click that plan details. This is where you'll be able to add riders, increase your benefit amounts, and it'll do all the math and the work for you. So if you wanted to increase this benefit amount from $100 a day to $300, you can do so. If you wanted to add the uh, ambulance benefit amount, you can do so. If you wanted to add a durable medical equipment benefit, it'll do all the math for you and add all that up so you can actually build the plan on the system. This can also be printed or exported to PDF and just allow you to share this information as fa easy and as fast as possible. That's a quick little 10-minute overview on the tools. Um, the more you play around with it, the better you're going to get. Um, after one or two quotes, you're going to become a pro. I hope you enjoy using the tools. If at any point in time you have questions or, or you're stuck or you're confused, you can just click this support button up here and you can contact support to get those questions answered right away. I appreciate your time and have a great day.